Off Campus is a reality show about uh, uh, a bunch of uh, African kids, students uh, living on the, under the same roof. And with that, you know, that is, you know, quite uh, a recipe for drama. Uh, these African students, they come from uh, different backgrounds in Africa, from different countries, of course. And uh, what they bring to this program, they bring something different. Uh, the American public, for example, um, are not used to seeing the way w Africans live uh, uh, in the U.S. And so there's sort of like a, some curiosity there. And, um, and also there is a sense of voyeurism because, uh, you know, these young people, they have such interesting lives. And, and, you know, the fact that people are standing around and sort of peeking into their lives. Uh, sort of like give you that sense of some Try naughtiness, it. which I think is one of the appeal of the show. Hey, look. hey. got a store here. Yeah, man, I'm going to mm -hmm. As usual. You were the show was conceived by uh, Araba Dotson, uh, Araba uh, uh, executive producer. She is from Ghana and she has raised uh, uh, children here in the United States, so she's very much familiar we we'll see the lifestyle that uh, the new generation of African kids uh, uh, go through. And so the idea came from her and, uh, and she was just right on because, um, you know, the way she sees life and the way they see life, you know, they're totally different and, and, and bringing those two aspects together uh, really makes for a dynamic show. Off Campus is a, is a show with a purpose. Um, we tried very hard um, to provide a lesson or to teach a lesson. We may respond to something that is current. Uh, there was a, an, an African kid uh, quite recently in the news who uh, had a major accident. Uh, multiple people died in the uh, vehicle. Come to find out he was actually uh, texting while he was driving. And so we try to bring those kinds of issues into uh, uh, the program, uh, we feel that uh, we can uh, inject some real life things outside of their lives, you know, to address, you know, the issues of, say, for example, drunken driving or texting while driving, uh, and even you may see some political uh, issues that uh, they they will try to address, and and the way we do that is, unbeknownst to them, we inject those, uh, those issues into, into their lives and just record and watch them uh, to see how, they'll de how they deal with that. And hopefully at the end of the program, uh, there is an underlying message uh, that is positive. The characters, <laughs> they, they're quite interesting. Um, you know, when I first got with this project, um, I, you know, just thought about it uh, of being, well, you know, this is something that probably will be stale until I met them and, and meeting the characters. I mean, it is anything but. And um, you have uh, Aisha. Uh, Aisha is a fascinating character. She is, um, she, she understands the value of, of survival. And, you know, a lot of people, they have their issues where there are certain things that are off limits. And, and uh, but what Aisha does is that she, she takes stock into the situation and then she makes the best possible decision uh, for her, you know. So there's Aisha, very, very beautiful, very intelligent, very articulate, you know. But she dates uh, a, a, a married man who's uh, much, much older than she is, you know, and she makes no excuses. Uh, she, she makes no justification. This is what she wants to do. This is what she feels is good for her at this time. And, and so her character is, uh, is, is uh, it's quite admirable, you know, for a young woman to have, you know, such a strong mindset and knowing exactly what it is that she wants to do. Dede is, um, she, her character is very strong. She sort of is the, uh, she is the, almost the voice of authority. Uh, you know, she, she can be confrontational. Uh, she's real, and that's what I like about Dede. Dede is real. Uh, she likes you or she doesn't like you, you will know right on the spot. Uh, she can't stand, baby. 
you know, Baby is, again, the other character who is a sport brat, you know, and Dede is sort of a uh, matter of fact, and she's always in conflict with local. Baby. Uh, baby is, uh, she's spoiled. Uh, uh, she always have the latest gadget. Uh, she's always texting. She's always, you know, she, she feels that the world revolves around her. But that's, that's who she is, you know. She bring a, a, a very uh, a dynamic and interesting aspect to the program. Fatu. <laughs> I remember when I first met Fatu, um, you know, she has such an attitude and I, I really thought that we will have, I will have a difficult time directing her. And, uh, but she surprised me. Uh, she is a diva. I mean, she believes and she thinks that she is the most attractive thing in the world. She believes she is the best thing since uh, Farina or Cornbread or Gary. She is, uh, she is a character. She's very stylish. She likes to dress. Um, you know, she's very voluptuous, and she really doesn't care what people think about her. Um, again, those kinds of characters, I mean, she's a very, she has a very, very strong uh, personality, and, uh, you know, she's, she's very likable, and, uh, and she's very loyal, and uh, she's the kind of person that, uh, she's very honest, and I think that's the appeal that most people will find of Fatou. Fatou is very honest, and uh, sometimes un honest to, uh, uh, to a fault, that her honesty can sometimes be very hurtful. You know, but she is who she is. You have these three guys who are in and out of these girls' uh, house. And, uh, you know, they're like brothers, really. But uh, there is, uh, you know, there, there's, some, there's some love tension going on. I, I think some of the girls uh, may have some attraction to some of, the, some of the guys and vice versa. One of the characters, uh, Fifi. Uh, Fifi, he's, uh, he hasn't been here in this country very long, but he really has taken on the American on, persona, you know, the hip hop, the cool guy, you know, he's always, uh, 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 you know, sunglasses, cool, you know, I'm the man, he's sort of like the ladies man, he liked the ladies. Uh, but uh, with Fifi, I think under all of that, I think he's very insecure. I, I, I think he needs to put up uh, an exterior that uh, 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 people wouldn't see the real sensitive, the real soft, uh, caring, sensitive individual. I don't think he likes people to see that. You know, he hides all of that under this tough guy exterior. It seems like Jojo's whole purpose in life is to uh, impress Fatou. Absolutely in love with Fatou. Um, I, I mean, for obvious reason, Fatou, Fatou is very attractive and she's very sexy. And, and Jojo, uh, she, his heart is just very much into her. Now, here's the problem Fatou really doesn't care about him. I think um, Jojo has become a pest to Fatou, really. And, so when I talk about Fatou being very honest, that her honesty can sometimes be hurtful, uh, Jojo is a prime of example of how she uh, exhibits that. Oh, Jojo, I don't have time, man. I mean, how, how you give me? Overall, Off Campus is a, a, a new kind of reality show. Uh, it's a reality show with a twist, and that twist is, you know, people will get to have some insight into, into the lives of of, of, uh, of African students, of African people. Uh, they might get an uh, understanding of some of the, uh, some of the African culture, and, uh, and hopefully it is, is, is educational for them. And also, again, it is a show with a purpose, as we try to uh, not necessarily make a political statement, but address some current issues, you know, i.e. Uh, texting while driving, drunk driving, and things like that. So I, I think a lot of people will find it uh, uh, useful but that we have such a program uh, that addresses all these issues and yet can be educational at the same time. <laughs>